But first, the making of an alternative reality. The real news headlines have been hard on President Trump this week. The New York Times, The Washington Post, CNN, and other outlets have been breaking new ground about Team Trump's connections to Russia. One of the Washington Post stories caused Attorney General Jeff Sessions to recuse himself from Russia-related investigations. Trump was reportedly ticked off about this. He didn't think Sessions needed to recuse himself. So what happened this weekend? Well, Trump tried to change the story. In fact, he, is an, he and his allies have created a brand new storyline, casting aspersions on former President Obama. They haven't given any proof, but they have given Trump supporters a brand new talking point, that Trump's problems are really Obama's fault. Trump's conservative media allies are working overtime to promote this narrative. So let's take a look at what's really going on here and how it started. Uh, this morning, just in time for the Sunday morning shows, Trump Press Secretary Sean Spicer said, quote, reports concerning potentially politically motivated investigations immediately ahead of the 2016 election are very troubling. By reports, does he mean Trump's own tweets? Because early Saturday morning, Trump went on a reckless tweet storm, making allegations that are reminiscent of his birther conspiracy theory and his bogus claims about a rigged election. He said, quote, how low has President Obama gone to tap my phones during the very sacred election process? This is Nixon slash Watergate. Obama's a bad or sick guy. Where did Trump get these ideas? Where is he getting his information? CNN's Jeff Zeleny reports that this Breitbart News story was circulating in the West Wing on Friday and that Trump was infuriated by it. Now, the story asserted that Obama has been trying to undermine Trump at every turn. As you can see from the headline, it was inspired by a Thursday night radio segment by conservative talk show host Mark Levin. Now, bear in mind, this was not fresh reporting by Levin or Breitbart. This was opinion, attempts basically to connect some dots. Okay, so that was on Thursday. That's how this news story started. Now it's Sunday, and the White House is calling on Congress to investigate this theory. Here's Sarah Huckabee Sanders on ABC's This Week. These are extremely serious charges the president is making. Where is he getting this information? Look, I think there have been quite a few reports. I know that uh, Jonathan and others earlier in the program mentioned that it was all conservative media, but that's frankly not true. The New York Times, BBC uh, have also talked about and reported on the potential of this having had happened. The Times and other news outlets did not report that Obama personally ordered Trump's phones to be tapped. There's no evidence of that. Reporters have described ongoing investigations into Trump associates, investigations that began when Obama was still in office. So Martha Raddatz asked, was Breitbart the main source for Trump's tweets? Here's how Sanders responded. I think the bigger thing is uh, you guys are always telling us to take the media seriously. Well, we are today. We're taking the reports that Places like the New York Times, Fox News, BBC, multiple outlets have reported this. Wait, the New York Times. Earlier this week, Trump said the New York Times was evil. And one of his aides recently called the BBC fake news. The failing New York Times. You and your colleagues have fallen into this trap of fake news. The failing New York Times. Okay, so keeping that in mind, let's go back to what Sanders was saying on ABC. All we're saying is let's take a closer look. If this happened, Martha, if, this if, would, if, if, <laughs> I, I agree. Why that, is the president saying it did happen? Look, I think he is going off of information that he's seen that has led him to believe uh, that this is a very real potential. And if it is, this is the greatest overreach and the greatest abuse of power that I think we've ever seen in a huge attack on democracy itself. And the American people have a right to know if this took place. Sanders is doing something the Trump uh, administration tends to do. Take the arguments and the, the allegations against Trump and turning them on somebody else, trying to do this flip-flop uh, of sorts. So we've seen this news story. We presented this news story. It started on Thursday. Now it's Sunday. It gives Trump voters a new argument, something new to debate, something new to respond with. But what's the real story?